So you want to get a custom Minecraft map or world on your Minecraft server. Well, let's go ahead and do it. First things first, you're going to need to download a map. There are tons of Minecraft maps out there, literally thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different maps to choose from. This guide will work for any of them as far as getting them into Minecraft. However, if you do want to download some maps, you don't know exactly what map you want, there is a link in the description down below that will take you to our list of some of the best maps that are out there. We've got everything from from adventure maps to survival maps to everything in between. We're going to go ahead and grab a classic of mine, which is classic skyblock, and I say a mine, a classic favorite of mine. Right click and open that in a new tab, and we'll also go ahead and grab a bit of an older map, which is a parkour map here. The reason I say older, I mean for a previous version of Minecraft, in this case 1.20.1, just to show you what behavior that'll look like. You can click the download button under any of these, and it will take you to the download page of the map. If it's on Curse Forge, I recommend going to Files here, and then finding the 1.20.4 version of the map, if it is available. If it's not, go ahead and download the most recent version of the map by clicking the three dots and clicking Download File. After a few seconds, the download will begin if you are on CurseForge. While this is downloading, come from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your own Minecraft server and play any custom map that you want with your friends. You can easily add a single player world, you can easily add a custom map, an adventure map, it doesn't matter what kind of map you want, you can add it to your server at Simple Game Hosting quickly and easily. Easily. On top of that, you can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs and customize the server however you want. Plus, should you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Anyway, our map is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save it, but for us, it just downloaded as a zip file here. Another popular place for maps is Minecraft Maps. And here, what you want to do is scroll down to the Download Map button. And then, a lot of times, the map will begin downloading right away. It may take you to Mediafire to download the map, but that's becoming more and more uncommon. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move both of these to our desktop. For me, it's going to be in the downloads folder here, so we can just move those to the download or to the desktop, right? Like so. And then what we're going to want to do is extract these. How do we do that? Well, right click on it, and then click extract all, and then click extract. You want to do this for any maps that you want to install, and when you do, it's going to open a folder like this. But most importantly, it's going to create this folder. This one right here is like a zip on it, right? It's a zip folder. This one isn't. It's just a normal folder. We want to go ahead and repeat this process with this other map that we are installing as well. And then once they're both unzipped, we can go ahead and prepare them to be installed in Minecraft. Because if we try to install these right now, it's not going to work. We're going to need to actually prepare these to be installed. To do that, open them up. So first, we're going to start with floating biomes. When we open it up, we have another folder called floating biomes. When we open that up, we finally see what we want to see. Some of these files and folders. It might not be all of them, but it should be at least some of them. Level, right down here at the bottom. Region, dim one, dim dash one. Again, you may not have any or all of these, but you should have at least a few of them. And it should look similar to these here. Generally, these are the ones that you would see. So if you see any of these, you're good to go. Then come up here to the top and click this back arrow in the file explorer and drag this to your desktop. We then want to repeat this with the Skyblock Classic Edition as well. Open that up, open this up, and as you can see, this doesn't have as much as the floating bomb one did, but it does have that level file. It also has, you know, the, for example, the data packs file. Just depends on what it'll have, but once you see this, same thing. Click the back arrow and drag this to your desktop. Occasionally, you may get a warning asking if you want to merge the folders. That's just because the folder has the same name on the desktop. That's okay. You can go ahead and do that. But what we want to do is as soon as we open this folder, we see these files. Now, we have these two that are actually empty now that we can delete. But we also have the most important thing, Floating Biomes here and Skyblock Classic. As soon as they are opened, we see these files and folders. So these are ready to be installed. How do we do that? Well, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to click on installations up at the top. Then we want to find the installation that we're installing this map for. This is going to be the one that you play the most. It could be a modded installation or it could be a vanilla installation. In this case, we're going to use vanilla here because, well, that's what most people are going to use. And it's the same process for both modded and vanilla. Once you're here, hover over it and then click on the folder icon that appears. That'll then open your Minecraft folder. What you then want to do is find the saves folder. When you open that, any of your Minecraft worlds are going to be in here. For example, when we get in game, you'll see Nixcraft as well as these two worlds in game as well as in my saves folder. Because they're in my saves folder, they're also in game. We want to move any custom Minecraft maps, any Minecraft worlds you want to install into this saves folder. Before we close out of this though, just make sure one more time that when you open them, you see these folders and files right away. If you don't, again, it's not going to work. So we want to make sure that as soon as we open it, we see those files and folders. 
At this point, we can go ahead and play Minecraft just like we normally would, and when we get in game, we can easily click on single player here, and we'll see any of the worlds we installed. Now, as you can see, we have this floating biomes world. That's our 1.20.1. Let's start with that one first. And what's actually really cool, 1.20.1 maps work in 1.20.4 without any extra steps generally, so we can just uh, jump in here and, and, and get going and, well, fall to our deaths on a parkour map, for example, and we respawn. Now, that's not the only thing you may encounter. If you have a really old world, it may want to confirm. I'm going to go ahead and open Nixcraft here just to show you what it might do. It's actually not even going to do it with a 118 world, which is impressive. But sometimes it'll warn you that this is for an older version of Minecraft. Generally, it's okay to continue anyway in those cases because you're actually going to be able to just reinstall the map if you do need to switch versions later on. But... Go ahead, open it anyway, and you're good to go. You can usually play the map. And with Skyblock, we'll go ahead and prove that works as well by just double-clicking on it. This right here is what I was talking about. Experimental world settings, things like this might happen. Don't go ahead and create a backup. You know what you're doing. You're good to click OK there. When we spawn into this world, I believe it's going to teleport us around and move around a lot. So expect that when you launch into some of these maps that are doing a lot of custom stuff like Skyblock is. And um, we need to come over here and select what we want to do. We'll go ahead and do Default. And then it teleports us around to all sorts of stuff. So crazy what this does and um, super in-depth map here with Skyblock Classic Edition. And sometimes it's a little weird when you join into these maps and this is an example of that. Alrighty, here we are. We are now in the world. We're good to go. All the structures have generated and we could start playing. So that's how you can add these maps. We'll see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.